Totsugeki Human, which translates to Assault Human, was a Tokutatsu Hero series that aired on Japanese television in 1972 with 13 episodes. The story focuses on Junishiro Iwaki, an alien from planet Human who lives on Earth as a gymnastics coach and is also secretly Human 1. He's training children across Japan in a bid to help fend off an extraterrestrial invasion by the Flasher Corps. Led by King Flasher, the alien invaders from the Skull Nebula will take on Human in episodes 1 through 9. After his defeat in episode 9, he was replaced by the even more powerful Grand Flasher. Grand Flasher seriously injures Junishiro in episode 10. This triggers a sudden transformation in his brother, who becomes human number 2. Junishiro will go on to recover in a subspace known as the Miracle Zone and make his triumphant return as Human 1 in episode 11 of the series. Human was a co-production by Nippon TV, Union Motion Picture Co., and Moburu, a company established by designer Tol Narita, who was the art director and monster designer on the original Ultraman and Ultra 7 series. The series was initially conceived as a potential challenger to the Kamen Rider series, but eventually the production took a very different direction. Human will go on to be produced and recorded as a live stage show that will then be aired on television. This limited what could be done in terms of practical effects as water and fire could not be used in a live stage performance. As such, Human rely more on stage magic techniques such as illusions, smoke equipment, and lighting effects. To work within these constraints, the production team generally worked off of the same story template. A monster sent by King Flasher would attack Junishiro's gymnastics class. He would try to fend off the monster to no avail, at which time he would ask the audience in attendance and the people watching on TV to help him by using the human sign a flat disc that served as a transformation device in which fans were encouraged to spin around to help trigger human's transformation. He would then go on to defeat the monster. Speaking of the episodic monsters, while human only had 13 episodes, most of them featured two different monsters, which added up to 24 monsters throughout the series run. Given the nature of the stage production, Human's monster designs accommodated special considerations to ensure they could move smoothly and have a strong stage presence. One example of this was the use of special helium-filled balloons which elevated certain parts of the monster's bodies and make the monsters look bigger on stage. After Human ended its run, Toho acquired many of the costumes, some of which went on to be repurposed in other productions, including E.K. Green Man. According to all available information in this series, it's very likely that all the original recordings of the show have been lost. There are several possibilities that have been discussed online that include everything from the original masters being lost to the tapes being overwritten. Given how much lost media has surfaced in recent years, perhaps there is some surviving material out there just waiting to be found. One piece of human media that was discovered in 2009 was a recording of a public show held in the Valley High Center in Miyagi. That's where the footage in the intro to this video comes from. To watch the rest of those videos, use the link in the description below. While not as well documented or popular as other characters from the Henshin boom of the 70s, human is an interesting curiosity of that era and it did help advance the stage presentation techniques used for tokusatsu hero stage presentations. For now, while we can't watch the show, we can at least enjoy the one thing that is accessible to us, the fun intro song, Tatsugeki Human. Check it out. <laughs> 